What's good? I'm Eleni and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day. And today I'm going to be doing another makeup look. So ever since I started doing YouTube, I get a lot of comments, not only on my channel, but on my Instagram and TikTok that people think I look like Belle Delphine. Um, I don't see that at all, but I thought it would be fun to do a makeup look inspired by her. So today I am turning myself into Belle Delphine. Hey, what's good? It's Belle Delphine and welcome back to my channel. If you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for notifications. So let's get into her makeup look. So I already did um, my eye primer, so I'm gonna just get right into her eyeshadow look. So I feel like she does like a very neutral and light eyeshadow look, and most of her makeup is all in her eyeliner. So I'm thinking I'm going to be using like my, my Kylie bronze palette mostly because these are a lot of neutral shades. Um, and also I might touch a little bit into my gingerbread palette that I got for Christmas because there's like a little bit of pinks in there that I might include because Belle Delphine wears a pink wig, she wears all pink clothes. Um, so I might add a little bit of that. To start off, I'm going to be just putting the shade Jasper all over my lid, just gently sweeping that over. Just like a nice like neutral white shade. And now it's time to just get into the other neutral shades. So I'm thinking, hmm, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna go with a cool tone browns, like neutrals or warm tones. But I feel like for her look, cool tones would probably be better. So I'm going to now use this shade right here, Topaz, to do my crease. Now I'm just going back in with the brush that I used with the shade Jasper to just gently blend that out. Just so I don't have any harsh lines on my eyelid. Um, also, I'm really trying to keep the eyeshadow very light, so I'm gonna keep blending. I think now, just to darken up right in the corner of my eye where my eyeliner is gonna go, I'm going to be using the shade, I think this is called Bronzite. Um, and just very lightly dipping into that to darken up the corner of my eye. And again, blending. Lots and lots of blending. That's primarily why my makeup routines take so long, is all I do is sit here and blend over and over and over again. But hey, then it at least looks good. Honestly, I think that's going to be it and for all I do for my eyeshadow until the very end where I'm just going to be highlighting a little bit more. So I am going to get back into my eyeliner. I'm using the NYX Super Fat Eye My Art Marker for my eyeliner as well as Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner um, because her, her eye makeup is literally all eyeliner, which I'm not used to. I usually only do a very simple, tiny wing so I don't even know how this is gonna go I feel like I need to do a super fat upper wing um, and then also liner on my lower lash line which I almost never do I I don't know that's just not my style so we'll see we'll see how I like this so I did my liner they're pretty fat on cat eyes I'm not sure if she does cat eyes like cat liner or puppy liner but I just did kind of like a mix of both we got that wings cat cat liner but also it's kind of just more like straight across like a blend between puppy liner and cat liner i don't know i don't really know um what i'm doing for her eyeliner look but what i do have is the upper wings drawn on and what i'm noticing is she does do 
liner she lines the corner of her eyes and that's something i do not do so i'm gonna have to hope and pray that i don't get black liner all over and then i'm going to attempt to do her under eyeliner i feel like she kind of draws on eyelashes so we'll see how this goes i don't know if i want to use my liquid liner for this or my gel liner i might just use the gel and see how this goes so tempting the inner corner So I did the wand and it's a very baby thing. So it actually turned out a lot better than I thought I would. So now for the other one. I'm sticking with my gel liner because I feel like it's a lot more, it's a lot easier for me to manage and have control over. So now to draw on essentially a lower lash line. She draws her lower lash line a lot lower than her natural one because what she ends up doing is taking white liner to make her eyes look a lot bigger than they actually are so I'm going to be doing that too. So I bought this CoverGirl white eyeliner and that's what I'm going to be using to make my eyes actually appear to be bigger than they are. She also wears so much pink blush, and this is something that I do not do. I absolutely hate pink blush on me. I don't think it goes well with my skin complexion. Honestly, I, I don't even know why I don't like pink blush. I have this really, honestly, pretty old. I probably shouldn't even be wearing it. Um, ColourPop Pink Blush. It's the Super, Super Shock Cheek Blush in birthday suit this is like a pretty bright pink i feel like i used to wear this years and years ago so that's probably why i shouldn't be wearing this at all because i don't even know I and mean, it smells fine it definitely is expired though so she puts that honestly all over i feel like this is like essentially oh lord i don't like pink blush this is essentially like an e-girl look so they wear a ton and a ton of pink blush and I feel like this is it's not my color I'm even wearing pink today to like maybe help with my color like matching blush I don't even know what I'm talking about to be honest I feel like I look like I have sunburn with a lot on I don't know if Belle Delphine does this but I know a lot of like you girls do they put like blush all over like their nose and I mean I think it looks cute on them I don't uh, we'll see how I like this on myself. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am very pink now. Pinker than my usual face, because I normally use like a very nude, nude brown, natural colored blush, which I guess isn't natural, because blush is supposed to be like your flushed face, but I feel like that matches my skin complexion. So now I feel like very cutesy. And I don't know how I feel about that. Next step is, of course, huge false lashes, which I feel like she uses more spiky false eyelashes, but I'm gonna keep using my fluffy lashes because I love them. And why not? There's, there's no rules on what eyelashes I can wear for this. I'm not actually following a makeup routine, guys, by the way. I'm literally just looking at a photo of her and, and figuring it out as I go, so. This is, this is my way of doing Belle Delphine's makeup. So like I've said in previous makeup videos, when I apply false eyelashes, I put a pretty heavy amount of glue on there and then I wait about 30 seconds to a minute to let it get really nice and tacky. Now that this lash is tacky, just gently press it on my lash line, not on my lashes, but right on the lash line. Um, and then I am using my tweezers to adjust where I want the eyelashes to sit. And now that I got it in the position that I want, I'm just taking the tweezers to gently press the lashes down to make sure when the glue dries, when the glue dries, it is actually on my skin, not just like floating or something or drying on my eyelashes. I feel like that'd be painful when you pull them off. So sometimes you can actually see like the glue 
still turning white that's gonna turn clear and then depending on how lazy I am I sometimes will go over that with a black liner just to make sure cleaning cleaning it up make sure you know you can't see any visible glue while I'm doing this and of course now that I have my lashes on I feel like I just pulled this whole look together even though I'm not done yet but no look is complete in my opinion without false lashes that being said i do feel like once you start wearing false eyelashes it's really hard to stop because then you feel like you have no eyelashes when you take them off so then you like i in my opinion always feel naked without my lashes on so from here i don't know what the next step would be i'm just going to apply a little bit more mascara on my lower lash line um to make those lower lashes really pop. I have like pretty long lower lashes. So whenever I put mascara on them, they just look like really big, which I do love. Um, which she seems to like draw on, like which I kind of did here, draw on like fake bottom eyelashes as well. So now this is just gonna be looking like really dark, but I feel like she still puts on lower lash mascara, possibly. Okay, so I feel like this look is pretty much honestly almost finished. So now I'm actually going into my Kylie Blue Honey palette because the bronze palette doesn't have the color that I want, but I'm going into my Blue Honey palette and taking the shade Bumble to highlight the inner corners. I don't even know if I should do that, but I think I still am going to highlight the inner corners of my eye. And then also I'm going to be applying that as my highlighter to my nose because I only have my Trophy Wife Fenty Beauty highlighter, which I feel like the gold doesn't really go with this pinky look. And honestly, I don't even know, I don't even know if this is gonna look cute, but we're gonna test this, this out. I mean, it, it does the job. So also gonna do that to my lip. I, I feel like this is a bad idea, but you know, it is what it is. I always put my highlighter like on the arch of my eyebrows as well because I just like it there. So now I'm going to put this just kind of outside of my eyeliner because I don't really want to mess that up. I feel like I did mess it up so I'm gonna have to go over it again. Maybe I should have done this step first. Normally I use my fingers for this step, but since I did eyeliner there, I don't want to mess it up. So the brush was a little bit helpful with that, but not entirely the most productive way of doing so. Okay, I think my makeup is done. Honestly, I feel like an e-girl now, so I'm just going to use my um, Morph Continuous Setting Mist um, to really just secure all of this. Honestly, I use like way more than needed. I just, I just, I really like it. Now I need to dry my face. I, I don't know, you don't need your face to dry if you don't use too much, but I really do, I just like it. I don't know, I like the feeling. I like misting my face. It's like very nice and cool. All right, so now that I think my makeup's done, I feel like I did everything that I'm supposed to. These, this is how my eyeliner turned out. Um, I don't know, this is, I feel like it's not that different than my normal makeup. It's just a lot more eyeliner and a lot less eyeshadow. And as you can see, sneaking in here is my pink wig on my mannequin lady. Her nose is a little messed up because Leo chewed her nose off, but whatever, whatever, it's not the point. So it's very long hair, as you can see, um, and very pink. I had another pink short-haired wig, but I felt like I needed to get a long-haired one because Belle has very, I don't know, does she have long hair? I feel like she has pretty long pink hair. Yeah, she has long pink hair. So now I'm going to be attempting to put on this wig. I feel like I'm all over the place while I'm talking to you guys. All right, so gotta take these out. As you guys, I'm sure, realize I have some pretty long hair um, and putting it under wigs is, very hard for me um it's honestly like quite annoying so 
sometimes I just put it in braids, sometimes I put it in like pigtails. Ugh. This is slightly difficult, but um, I have to wear those like wig caps to even get it. It's like the only way to like attempt to get it kind of like secured. I really should be putting in like a couple French braids or something because that would be a lot easier to be honest but I'm um, not really in the mood to do that right now because that will, French braids take me a while guys like I do them for work sometimes but it does take me quite a while so pigtails it is ta-da pigtails <laughs> all right I feel weird in these on camera so and now I'm just gonna twist these around and try to secure them with the most nearby clips that I have which are my makeup clips they're not that good but this is this is my attempt all right that seems to be working out it's moving, but it's okay. The wig cap will help. It'll help it all. All right, that one's not working out very good. Whatever. <laughs> it's not really doing that well. The other one did a lot better. What? What's my problem? Like, what is? What's going on here? Uh oh, I'm stuck. Yikes. Attempt number two. Watch the other one fall out as I'm doing this one. Oof, okay. All right, okay. They're both up. Now time for this. That I, um, Leo likes to play with these. Sometimes I leave them laying around. Um, that's not always that cool. Honestly, they remind me of pantyhose and I don't like those. Oh man, it's falling out. All right, wish me luck. Honestly, I really like this wig. Let's put this on. Can't talk and do this at the same time. Ooh, I really do love pink hair. Well, my iPhone doesn't recognize me looking like this, so I must have done something good. So I know Belle doesn't have bangs, but I liked the curls on this wig, so that's why I got it. But I feel so cute, but I didn't put on lipstick. I feel like I need lipstick. Um. I'm very pink today. Hello. <clears throat> I feel like she doesn't really like wear lipstick though. Let me see what I have in my drawers. Again, I don't have pink lipstick readily available. All right, well, we're just gonna put on chapstick because I feel like she kind of just has like really natural lips and pretty thin lips too. You know, I just realized is I didn't do like her smile lines. So this is turning myself into Belle Delphine. I feel like I could use some um, elf ears, you know, to kind of do that. So this is the look. I feel like I don't look that much different than my normal self, but I did attempt like e-girl makeup and the pink wig. Oh my God, I just love these curls here. Those are like super duper cute. Like I it's just like, hmm, I love it. So yeah, this is it. For all of you who always think I look like Belle Delphine. I still don't see it. And this is my attempt at her makeup. Awkward pause. So yeah, this is it. I am officially Belle Delphine. JK, not really, but for those of you who say I look like her, this is my attempt at an e-girl slash Belle Delphine makeup look. Yeah, I really don't see it guys. I don't. That's what she does with her tongue. Wait, hang on, let me look at a picture of her. If you like this video, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell of people for notifications. I am right now still uploading only 
once a week but when may rolls around i think i'll be back to uploading a little bit more like i said a lot's going on in my life a lot new and exciting opportunities for me and i'm working on those so i'll see you guys next time Thank you.